Some lady drove her car off a cliff and it's up to me to recover it. Here we go, it all starts right now. Hey, what's up, I'm Anton. Thank you for watching this video. We are back at the tow yard today checking out some of these new trucks that we got. Like this Freightliner right over here. This is a cool looking truck and the heavy duty wrecker that we actually picked up a couple of weeks ago on our live stream and it went into the paint shop into the Falcon 204 paint company shop and it now got painted and check this out it looks so so good it's all fully done up ready to go and I think actually this is the truck that we are going to take out on our job uh, this morning because here check this out I'm gonna play this voicemail for you this is a voicemail that I got this morning let me just dial it in and this is uh, what uh, what I heard when I woke up. So I'm gonna call my voicemail right now. Check this out right here, I'm gonna play this for you. Oh my God, you gotta help me. My car went off the cliff. You have to recover it before my husband finds out. Come quick. Her car went off the cliff and we gotta go help her and uh, do recover this thing before her husband finds out because I don't think he's gonna be happy that she drove her car off the cliff, uh, even though in the in the voicemail she said her car went off the cliff. I don't know about that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, get right uh, right to it. We're gonna jump here into our heavy duty wrecker. This might be a bit of an overkill for a vehicle, but she's talking about a cliff. I don't, I, I mean, I don't know how high that cliff is. We might need the heavy duty winching power of the wrecker. So we're gonna take this uh, wrecker out today and uh, check out the lights on this thing. The lights look absolutely awesome here. There's like a ton of lights on the front of the truck not that many on the back there but still looks cool though i do like uh i do like the uh the light set up here on the truck so let's get going we're gonna take off and, and there's the new trailer by the way the new enclosed trailer too which looks awesome all right let's uh let's get going here we're gonna get over to where she is she's uh texted us her gps coordinates so we'll get over there and see what we can do this morning so it should be coming up here right just right around the bend. I mean, this is a very high uh, area of Vinewood Hills. So if she went off this cliff, I can see why she's freaking out. And it looks like it's actually right up here. We do have the first responders on scene, paramedics, fire department, police. Everybody is here. I'm going to go ahead and get my lights going. Pull over. Whoa, watch out. See, I don't want to go off the cliff. This is the cliff that I think she went off here since everybody's gathered right in this area. All right, there we go. Let's uh, let's get our truck positioned. Uh oh, hold on. I'm having some difficulties here with my truck now. Getting like stuck on this grassy little surface. All right, there we go. Let's get that positioned right over here behind the ambulance for the time being. All right, let's go have a look. Whew, that was close. I almost had my own accident. Let's see what's going on over here. So where did she go off? Oh boy, she's all the way down there. I'm, is she alive? see some people over there. Hey, my man, how's it going? Is she, is it down there? I don't even see where the car is. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? All right, let's go talk to these guys right there. Now, it looks like she is okay. She's talking to the firefighters and the police um, and the paramedics. Hello, everybody. GM Anton Z Towing Company. How are you? Are you guys ready for me to take the car? Is she all right? She seems fine. Maybe a little bit shaken up. And she seems to go, be like going, I don't know what happened. I don't know how the car went off the cliff. Okay, well, I'm glad she's all right. She looks good. Uh, what are you guys doing? You're taking a picture of it? Where is it? Where is the car? Where's, oh, there it is. I see it. Wow, it's, uh, it is all the way down there. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, all right, so. Uh, uh, here's the thing. I mean, we're not going to be able to drive down there and hook it up. That's for sure. So we are going to have to rely on our winch and basically just like pull it uh, from there uh, up this uh, hill. And hopefully it will be um, it will be in one piece when it comes up. I, no promises, right? I mean, at this point, that car is um, mm, I think her husband is going to be pretty upset. That car is pretty, uh, pretty destroyed by the looks of it. It's, it's upside down on its roof, as you can see, too. So that's going to be interesting, pulling that up. Um, okay, so uh, here's what I got to do. Uh, we do need to get a flatbed over here. So I'm going to call that in right now. Um, the flatbed will obviously um, will obviously be transporting the vehicle. And then I'm going to use the heavy-duty wrecker 
to pull uh, her out of the ditch. So let's go get the let's go get the call put in for the flatbed. I'll get on the radio, get the flatbed in, start positioning the truck, and then we will take it from there. Okay, I got the truck in position. She's secure, ready to go. Um, I think we're gonna start winching her here. Just waiting for the flatbed to show up. My driver said he was right in the area, so um, he should be here any minute now. And then once he gets here, we have to go down there to somehow hook up the vehicle. We're not gonna be able to hook it up from up here, so I'm gonna have to make my way down there to see if I can, uh, if I can hook her up and then uh, come back up here and winch her up and it'll be easy as that, put her on the flatbed once uh, that thing shows up and uh, off we go. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's taking him so long. Okay, let's uh, let's just get down there, I guess. Um, he said he was right in the area, so, so I thought, you know, he was gonna be here any minute now, but uh, I don't know, he's taking his sweet time, I guess. Um, okay, so let's go down there. I just gotta figure out how to get down there. Uh, the truck is all secure in place. That's not going anywhere. And uh, we are gonna try to make our way down to that vehicle, I suppose. Um, hopefully the flatbed will get here in time. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna have to call him again and be like, yo, dude, where are you? What's going on? Why aren't you here? All right, let's see here. Um, I'm looking for like the path of least resistance in a sense of, I don't want to fall down this very steep hill. So let's maybe go like over here somewhere. Look how steep it is over here. Oh boy, I, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to make it back up here. Okay, watch out, watch out. Oh, 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 oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna hit the tree. Oh, Jesus. All right, there we go. Made it up, what is this? Oh, it's an Audi. Is that an R8? Uh, yeah. No, looks like it's an Audi R8. Very nice car that she now flipped over. So that's, uh, and that's awesome. All right. Okay. Let me go ahead here and get her hooked up, I guess. Just gonna have to use our towing gun right there. And, uh, let's see here if we can do this. Boom. Hooked up. Like that. Look at that winch going all the way up to the truck. All right, now uh, we have to make our way up here, back up somehow. Uh, figure this out. Uh, let's try over here. I know GTA 5. Oh, see, this is what I mean. I know GTA 5 is not good when it comes to climbing hills. Maybe right here somewhere. Just gotta find a spot where I can actually just go up here. Look at this. I'm like lumbering along. Uh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. 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 I made it. All right, is the flatbed, has he arrived? Where is he? He's supposed to be here, he said he was in the area. I don't know about that. I'm gonna have to call him again, be like, yo, dude, where the heck are you, my man? Because uh, he ain't here. Um, okay, so we are up here, let's go ahead and winch this, uh, let's go ahead and winch the car up, let's see if she actually comes up the hill. This is gonna be interesting. Let's find out. She is hooked up. As you can see, there is the winch running straight to the uh, straight to the truck. All right, I'm going to use the control panel. There is like one in here somewhere. Let's go ahead and start our winch here. Let's see what happens. Winching has started. No, don't climb up. Winching has begun. Is she coming up or is she stuck over there? Oh, she's moving. She is moving. The car is moving. It is coming up the hill. Look at her go. Yes. Oh, that looks great. All right, now we just gotta keep an eye on it. Make sure that uh, nothing crazy happens. Make sure it doesn't get disconnected. What if it, what if it becomes detached? It's just gonna fly further down the uh, the cliff there. Uh, look at that, she's coming up. Uh, probably gonna get scratched up a lot, but uh, it is what it is. What are you gonna do about that? Uh, oh, oh, she's about to turn over on her wheels. Oh, there we go. That should make things a little bit easier. That, that actually worked out nicely, because uh, I was wondering, I'm like, how are we going to end up turning this thing? But that actually worked out nicely. Looks like uh, the winch is working well. The car is coming up. Watch out. I'm not sure why it's going sideways here, but just be careful. All right. Looks like it's straightening out a little bit. The winch is doing its job pulling up the car, and this is why I brought the heavy-duty wrecker, because we need that winching power. Um, otherwise, how are you going to pull that car up the hill, right? How are you gonna do that? And there she is coming right up the hill. We're probably gonna stop winching here in just a few more feet. And then we'll uh, try to pull her out onto the road and I'm uh, gonna call my driver again. I don't know where he is. He was supposed to show up, said he was coming. He was in the area. Um, all right, let's see here. It's gonna be good enough right 
about oh now there we go that's good enough right here all right that was good look at that pulled her right out that's awesome okay let me go ahead and move the truck we're just gonna move her right up there I guess get back here into the truck she's still attached there to us it's a nice car Audi R8 I can't believe this lady actually rolled her down the cliff all right we got some vehicles coming I'm just gonna wait for them to pass because I'm gonna have to make a wide turn coming out of uh, coming out of here all right there's like another car Oh, hold on, I gotta make sure my truck is able to move. One second. One second. She is, like, attached to the ground. So that way the winch wouldn't pull us. Alright, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Alright, let's just move her right over here somewhere. There we go. Nicely done. Boom! Just like that. That's how we do it in this biz. All right. And I guess we can go ahead and disconnect the winch. There you go. Winch has been freed. All right. Let's put a call back to our driver again. I don't know where he is. I don't know what's taking him so long. So let me find out. I'm going to get on the radio here. Find out where, where he's at. All right. He just told me he ran into a little bit of traffic. He should be here any minute now. So we'll keep an eye out on him. I'm going to go tell the officers we're uh, all good here. Hey guys, uh, I got the car out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, tow her to the yard, okay? And then uh, you uh, you can uh, you can give us a call. Here's my card to uh, come pick it up. All right, we're gonna put it on the flatbed, and hopefully that vehicle can be fixed up, uh, repaired a little bit. Uh, oh, there he is. There's the driver right there. Hey, my man. There you go. He's gonna pull over here for us. All right. He brought the flatbed. Awesome. Okay. So the flatbed is here. This is our new cat, the CT660 flatbed. Hey, what's going on, man? I was wondering where you were. I'm like, where is he? He, was, he told me you were in the area, man. You got that traffic, huh? Okay, it happens. All right, it happens. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take over. I'm going to grab the flatbed. Let me just move the, uh, the wrecker up a little bit because we're going to put this car onto the flatbed. We're just going to winch it up. I don't want to drive it. I don't know if there's anything wrong with it. I mean, it flipped over on its roof, so... We're gonna go ahead and move the wrecker up a little bit here, so we have room for the flatbed. That should be good right there. And let's go get the flatbed now, I'll take over. As the boss of the GM Anton Z Towing Company, it falls on to me to do these very, uh, very, um, what was I, what was I gonna say, very high paying jobs. Holy I don't know if it's high paying, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Alright, let's get this, uh, get this into position can we get the lights working on this thing there we go yeah the lights look at that even the side lights as well on the flatbed too which looks great looking good looking good my man don't get run over there by people all right let's position the flatbed right over here we're gonna go ahead and extend that out like so look at that coming right down like that all right Excellent. She should be good to go. Just gonna go get the uh, cables. And then we're gonna winch her right onto the flatbed. And it should be all good to go. Get her secured. In here. Let's get the cables out. There we go. And then we can just probably start winching her right up. Um, start winching her right up. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Just gotta hook her up. There we go. There we go. That. There she goes. Look at that. Yeah, right onto the flatbed, please. Nice and easy. That's awesome flatbed. I love this thing. Boom. And the Audi R8 has been recovered. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let me go ahead and jump right back in here. We're going to get the flatbed back onto the truck. Like so. Look at that. Nice and easy. And that is it. We are done. I'm going to tell my driver to take the um, to take the wrecker back to back to the yard and I'll uh, I'll take the Audi now that uh, now that I have it since I've been doing the, everything. 
Uh, I might as well just be the one to bring it back to the yard here. All right, my man. I am going to take the uh, flatbed there. If you can bring the wrecker uh, back to the yard, or if you want to go out and do some jobs, that's fine as well. And uh, looks like those guys are going to clean up. Uh, probably uh, give her a ride home or wherever she's going. And uh, we are all good over here. So let's uh, let's jump back into the CT660. Man, the lights on it are great. It's not an ELS uh, car. It's not an ELS vehicle. It doesn't use the emergency lighting system mod. But the lights still look so awesome on it. Uh, I don't think the tow trucks really need to use ELS, right? Uh, the HD wrecker, uh, the heavy duty wrecker uses ELS, but... I don't know, this one is just as good. All right, uh, nobody here. Let's go ahead and pull out. Uh, oh, oh, we're a little stuck. Let me back up a little bit here. It's very, uh, very muddy. There we go. Looks like that guy's gonna let me through. I don't know what this guy's doing. All right, come on, people. All right, I'll go around here. He might be letting me go around him. Okay, so we are all done. Recovery is complete. We are on our way back to the repo yard. Uh, gonna bring this car back and let the insurance company figure the rest out. All in all, not a bad job today. And that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Check out some more videos here on the channel as well and tune in into my live streams. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.